Hello everyone, this is Mike Matson, and today I want to discuss modular synth and for my demonstration I'll be using Zeta. Modular synthesizers are laid out pretty cleanly and I'll walk through the five sections quickly in order. The oscillator section, the filter section, the amplifier section is in the lower right, and the two main modulation sources are the envelope generator section and our low frequency oscillator or LFO section. In the oscillator section, Zeta has six oscillators and the synth that I have loaded is actually using all six. That's one reason why the sound is so robust. The oscillator section itself allows you to include the five modes that were shown in class, which is the saw, the square, the triangle, the generated sign, and the generated noise. There's also several others that are included in here. The way that the oscillators work is you can transpose them by notes or octaves. The mode that they're in is whether they're free, which means that the synthesizer, when the note is struck, whether or not the oscillator starts from scratch or whether it just continues in its oscillation pattern. Because of this, the sound will actually not be the same if you hit a note twice in a row. Fine tune, output level, and spread. This is the stereo spread. So as you can see, just from getting started, the oscillator section alone adds for a lot of variability. In the filter section, we have two filters, and the type, we have what we saw in class, which is the 24 decibel per octave low pass filter. We also have high pass filters, band pass filters, and band reduction filters, which are notches. Forma, which is the human voice, essentially, and three resonant filters, and a comb filter. These are the two primary things that will change the sound of a voice is cutoff and resonance. And you can listen just adjusting one of these two filters what this does. And this is how much resonance is on it. The two, the two most common things that will affect sound are cutoff and resonance. The next section I want to jump into is the envelope generation section, there's actually six envelope generators, one dedicated to pitch and one dedicated to the amplifier, which is the master output. This is the one that was shown in class. Zeta actually has a couple options that are not available on the one shown in class, which is a delay after you hit the key before it even sounds. You have an attack, which is shown in class. This is your attack time. You have a, de a decay time, which was also shown in class. But Zeta also includes a level, so you can actually put a notch in here if you'd like. The decay level, the sustain level, which is identical to what was in class, which is here. And you also have a sustain time, which is the time between the decay time and the, de and the sustain time. And then you also have the release. And you can adjust these by clicking here or double clicking on the nodes. That'll adjust all of your pitch envelopes and uh, envelope generators all of your envelopes in here. Next section, we have the LFO section. In Zeta, there's actually six LFOs. You also have the ability here to add more than one waveform to the low frequency oscillator. And an interesting point, which is not shown in this, is if you use time morph, what this does is it actually morphs between the two settings. and it does that over time, and you can actually watch it morph, which is interesting. From there, the master section is very simple. It's very straightforward. The master section consists of how many voices you allow. This is also the main output to the amplifier, so if you want to transpose notes, you would do it here. And when you're currently playing something, this will also show you how many voices are playing. And lastly, I want to discuss the modulator section. The modulator section is identical to what was discussed in class. You need to have a source. Low frequency oscillator one is the source to this range. I can adjust the range, what type of curve you want to apply to it, and what it's actually going to, what is it going to control. That's a quick overview of the modules that are common to most synthesizers, and specifically to Zeta 2. I hope that you found this information useful. Again, this is Mike Matson, and thanks a lot for watching.